Cowpea, popularly called beans, is a common food in Africa. Nearly 200 million people consume it on the continent. It is rich in protein and has high energy content, making it a good source of nutrients for both humans and animals. It's usually cooked and eaten with carbohydrate sources like plantain and rice. But it's also a favorite crop of a deadly maruka pest, which destroys up to 80% of cowpeas on farms. The chew up flowers and other parts of a cowpea plant, leading to severe yield losses. It has been very difficult to control this pest because it has a cryptic feeding habit and you can get you know, very drastic reduce in your yield. At a very young age, the pest causes distraction to the plant. They bore holes in the plant. It's a very dangerous pest. We spray them every week for three months. That's 12 times of spraying every season. But this could soon be a problem of the past. Some African countries, including Ghana, Nigeria, Malawi and Burkina Faso are in the process of developing genetically modified cowpea varieties with inherent resistance to the deadly Maruka pests. Port border Maruka has been plagued farmers for many decades. There is no good solution for it. The insecticides are toxic and they are not very effective. So now we got the GM technology and it is a safe technology. We use it to solve the problem. The BT cowpea varieties will be delivered to farmers royalty-free. Scientists are excited with the results of the trials so far. The one with BT gene will, will give us up to uh, 1,300 kilos per hectare if you calculate. But the one with the BT gene gave us only 74.1 kg per hectare. So I'm very confident Nigerians will enjoy this variety because of the advantage so therefore there is going to be relatively a higher level of availability of cowpea in our markets once it is adopted. These Ghanaian and Nigerian farmers have had the chance to grow the novel varieties as part of the trials. The insect infestation is less with the BT. The BT varieties yield a lot more than the local varieties we have. We observe that if we use the BT cowpea, we'll have more money to feed our children because the yield at the trials was very good. We'll be welcoming the new variety because of the short duration. In the time pass, we used to labor and uh, spraying a lot of times, but at the end of harvest, we don't have much. But if the government can come to release these new varieties, we'll be very happy. Now the scientists have rounded up on their studies. They are focusing on producing seeds in preparation for commercialization. This is our seed multiplication field. We are trying to multiply our BT cowpea seeds in order to have enough seeds so that once regulators give the go ahead for release, we'll know that we have enough seed to supply to whoever wants to have seeds for planting. These are very exciting moments in Africa. Gradually, these countries are accepting biotech crops as a sure way to deliver nutritious food to the populace to make the continent food secure.